me and my partner, Ace Juice, Amma's friend, the one in the group, Ace Juice, we sit in the room chilling, and all of a sudden we watch the TV, we hear it. Bop! Bop! We're like, whoa, damn, what's that? Damn, man, it sounded like a damn gunshot. So we scared to open the door at first. So we open the door and look out in the hall, and we couldn't hear nothing, we could hear people running. Boom, 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 boom. Like, but it was below us, right? Like, what the hell? The next thing we saw, I hear screams. We like, oh, shit. So we ran down to the elevator. The elevator was jammed up, couldn't get on it. So we got in the staircase and went down the next staircase. It got off, opened up, and the elevator was open. And when our body was standing there and told us to stand back, don't, don't come over, don't come over here. But we walked over anyway. And I seen my partner, Khalil, and that man laid back. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Talk to me about when uh, Boys and Men, uh, when the when the, when the guy got killed. I want to, uh, because you talked about it on documentary. Yeah. Their ma- it was this road manager, right? Yeah, Khalil Roundtree. Clear, clear. Respect to Khalil and his family man. and everybody, man. I, that you was know, a crazy His moment. boys was little. He had little the boys at the time. And we was on the road, and I used to sit down and talk. I was, I was like to get knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what's going on, what's happening. I, I thirst for that. And he sit down and talk to me. He always smoked cigars. Big old man. You know what I'm saying? Like a big uncle, a big you know, father figure. So one day we was talking about something. We were doing something. They're ready to leave. Goes, he's like, yo, I'm going to get to the part. But he told me, he said, uh, what you going to do, man? I said, nothing, chilling. He said, uh, I had a little friend. I talked to a little girl in the lobby or whatever. You know, not no groupie, but, you know, I was trying to get down. He said, uh, you got a room? I said, no, nah, man, I'm a partner in the room. And we got to, you know, do our thing. With he said, hey, take my key to my room. He said, I just asked you to do one thing. Don't run, up, don't run up my incidentals. Mm. I said, okay. So it became a routine because boys and men would always go to the city before us and they had to, sometimes they didn't stay in the hotel, they'd leave. So whatever it was, Khalil would always find me and give me the key to his room wow. and tell me, hey man, have fun, enjoy yourself. So a little while I went by, maybe a month, my roommate somehow told Hammer that I'd be standing in Khalil rooms or whatever. So one day I'm in the room, I get a night door. I go to the door, it's Hammer. And his partner Juice and, and Hammer's brother Lewis, out of suite, up on the kicking. top floor, <laughs> kicking it. Hey, Hammer go to Lewis said, "What the hell going on in here? Wait a minute! He said, hey, you you the work up there, boss? How you have a room better than mine? But you know, hey, hey, get your stuff moved out. You gonna take my room? I'm taking this room. But damn, it's a badass room. But you know, the record labels was paying for the rooms on the road yeah. and the tour and whatever." It was a penthouse suite. Look overlooking the city, man. Glass. I just knew I won't have it set up that night, boy. We were nice. He called you. <laughs> yeah, he called me. I said, like, "Damn!" So every city we go to, he always check my give somebody come check my room. The bodyguard. The city. Ah, he got a regular room tonight. He ain't got no suite. He got a regular room. <laughs> I'm like, man, this is a boy. Look at that. Look at that. Damn, man. I'm Let you my live. Shit. Yeah, you, yeah, you have my room. Don't worry about it. Well, let's Don't talk, move. Let's talk about the day about you lost him. Yeah. Yeah. So we in, we in Chicago, and it was a great day, man. Michael Bivens was there, talked to the boys, hang out and everything. Minister Farrakhan was there. Wow. And we was loving it. It was crazy, but like, we was in the, on the stage. Minister Farrakhan was out, like five rows out from the stage, right? But it, see, this, see this triangle? Mm-hmm. He was sitting inside the triangle. All of the brothers was like a triangle around him, standing wow. up, mm. right? Protecting him and his wife. He didn't move. Show was over, everybody came into the hotel. <clears throat> so everybody chilling or whatever. We had a curfew, everybody been in rooms by 11 o'clock. You know, that a thing. If you didn't find nothing in the lobby, whatever, you know what I'm saying, hey, it, that's it, stuff. go to the room, lay down, get ready for the next day. You know what I'm saying, and, and then the group is just all over. You got caught down or whatever, you, you say, you dry, you dry. Or they say, you have no arsenal in your hall show. <laughs> if you, she ain't left with you by this time, like she ain't going. Go to the room, man, you know. <clears throat> the bodyguards had to do a check. By the rooms. So, me and my partner, Ace Juice, Amma's friend, one in the group, Ace Juice. We sit in the room chilling, and all of a sudden we watch the TV, we hear it. Bop! Bop! We're like, whoa, damn, what's that? Damn, man, it sounded like a damn gunshot. So, we scared to open the door at first. So, we open the door and look out in the hall, and we couldn't hear nothing, we could hear people running. Boom, 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 boom. Like, but it was below us, right? Like, what the hell? The next thing we saw, I hear screams. We said, oh, shit. So we ran down to the elevator. The elevator was jammed up, couldn't get on it. So we got in the staircase and went down. The next staircase, it got off, opened up, and the elevator was open. And when our body was standing there, and told us to stand back, don't, don't come over, don't come over here. But we walked over anyway. 
I seen my partner Khalil, you know what I mean, laid back in, in uh, Quadri, who was his other bodyguard for boys. I mean, he was shot in the leg. He was out there laying down on, 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 on the hall on the floor. And Khalil was in there with his head to the side, looking up like this, man, looking straight in the sky. The whole side was gone, man. They shot him inside his head, temple. Mm. And the story goes, they came up on the floor, the guys, three guys. What are hammer girls at? We want, we want to party with them hammer girls. Come to find out, it was a damn bellman from downstairs and a bellman from across the street, the other hotel, and another one of their friends. They came up on the floor, they was drunk, I think, knocking on doors. They knocked on one of the boys, and me and doors, I think Sean Stockman, and Sean was like, El Khalil, some guys knocking on the door, talking about what the hammer girls, they're hiding in the hall. They're disturbing, we're trying to go to sleep. So Khalil and them got up and came out there to you know, escort them down, say, hey man, ain't no hammer girls up here, y'all gotta go. You a lot, nigga. We 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 put the bags to that room today. They up and down on this floor right here. But what it was, they was on our floor. The floor up. He had forgot, but he had walked with our work with our bodyguards, taking the bags up to all our girls' room and put them in their room. So he knew they was there, but he knew what floor. He had forgot. He gets drunk, and man, I guess they're taking them down. They're coming down to the flows, and uh, shot Khalil in the head and shot Quadri because Quadri grabbed a gun, tried to get away and do wanted to shoot him, and uh, they got away. Damn. So. The next morning, well, that same But night, they knew who they were, so they got arrested, the room right? Room started flying so so fast. We didn't know, hell, we thought it was Illuminati. We thought that <clears throat> shit, Farrakhan had did it. But Farrakhan was up in the room with Hammer, talking to him, and mm -hmm. having, having a conversation with Hammer and stuff. So and all the Muslims, they came down too. They was everywhere. When they, when they, when they went off, they locked the hotel down. Boy, we, we down in the lobby, everybody in the lobby trying to see what's going on. But the whole hotel was surrounded by Muslims. Like on Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. <laughs> them boys powerful. Them boys was outside. Stopping anybody from coming yeah, in or Yeah, the police, they, they, yeah, they, they, the police had come through them to get in. Because the minister was still upstairs with a hammer. And they, they didn't want to let them leave. So the detectives, whatever it was, they took us all down to the precinct and interviewed about 150 people. We thought we were going to miss our show the next day. The next show, the show was the next day in Milwaukee. And at the time, we had our own plane. You know, we had a, we had a 737 Boeing jet. Dang. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Pepsi and to take all y'all. Oh yeah, we flew every day, and I loved it, baby. Because we met somebody, we met a girl in another city. We could put them on a plane; they could fly with us for free. Mm. <laughs> Our only obligation was when they get ready to go back home, we could uh, we had to send them back a flight on a regular flight, fly them back home, mm -hmm. or put them on the bus. Right. See, this is another thing we had a policy with our, with our situation. I don't want to get off. Let me, let me let me let me stop. Let me stop. So we did the interviews and whatever. And they let us go, got on a plane, made our flight, made it to the next city, but the concert was short. Hammer, Hammer was kind of down, too. The only thing I hated about the whole situation was I wouldn't even go to the, to the funeral and see my, my friend be laid to rest. Hammer told me I couldn't go. Because he said, I know how close you went. I said, but I want to go. I want to be there. Why he couldn't Hammer you go? went. Hammer and one of the bodyguards went. Why weren't you respect. able to go? He wouldn't let me go. He, he didn't told, tell you why? No, nah, not really. He just told me I couldn't go. I was like, all right, man. Wow, man. But, um. RIP yeah, it was crazy. But the guys who did it, Roger. one of the dudes who was messing his system up, he he came and told it. Told him where the gun was, where they threw the gun away in the, in the, in the river there. They found the gun, all that. So they got arrested. Yeah, all of them, all three of them. That's I don't know crazy. how much time they all got, but I know it's in the books. So you can Google mm -hmm. it, look it up. Wow. They messed us up, man. Khalil was so cool. Wow. I, I just felt for his kids, you know. That was my partner, man. That was my partner, partner. Man. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.